You just saw today's intro, so you know what you can expect. It's not simple, but I will go slow, step by step, so don't be afraid and join me in today's tutorial, where I'm gonna show you how to create 3D text wrap around 3D object within the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve 17. You are the best, so let's start creating. Welcome to new tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. So today I'm gonna show you how to create 3D text wrap around 3D object. So currently we are in edit page and let's go to effect library. Let's grab fusion composition and drag it to our timeline. So next thing, let's check the duration of this clip. So press Ctrl D and you can see here that it's 10 seconds long. We need 15, so let's change it. Let's close the effect library. Let's put the playhead somewhere in the middle and let's jump to the fusion page. In fusion page, uh, we can see that we have media out here, but because we're gonna go today with a 3D object, it will be a bit more demanding for your computer as usual. Uh, first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna grab 3D shape, or you can go with shift and spacebar, and you can go with shape and just put it in. The next thing that we're gonna need is 3D renderer and just put it in or you can grab it here so easy nothing to worry about so let's connect render 3d with media out immediately we can see that we have square here so we're gonna change this let's jump into expect inspector and in controls you can see that we have shape and we're gonna select from here so we're gonna go to sphere one thing that you notice immediately is that uh, the edge, it's not very good. So we have to change something to get the perfect sphere. So we're gonna just uh, use these sliders, uh, base subdivision and height subdivision. So just push it to, to 100. And now we have really the ni nicest uh, sphere. So let's go to transform and change the scale of this uh, sphere or circle at the, mo at the moment. And this way we can basically see uh, the whole sphere that we're gonna work with. So next thing is uh, we're gonna import some uh, map that I have imported before. So let's connect this uh, media into shape and you can see here that we have really nice sphere and uh, how we can check that so we can go to shape 3d and let's jump to transform again and let's play a little bit with rotation with uh, y axis so you're gonna see here that we have like empty space here so what we can do with that uh, is that that we can go to media in let's uh, import the transform node you can grab it from here or you can go shift and spacebar and import it so we're gonna change the size of it so let's go very careful or if we can we can go just to see we open this sphere like this so and we can close it like this so we're gonna close it a bit more we're gonna lose some Salomon Islands and a few more things so we're gonna leave uh, Kiwis alone so and we're gonna change uh, also the aspect we're gonna change the aspect that we have so uh, that this way we can basically see the, the whole earth so let's check now if we have here all things needed so it's Africa South America and North America not it's quite good okay so next thing is you can see that we have uh, different colors so we can play a little bit also with the colors so just put the color corrector in and we're gonna go with something maybe blue green or something yellowish like this yeah and we can also play with a hue situation uh, we can put a bit more green here 
can go with a contrast a bit, just a little bit. So we can go gain a little bit down, lift down as well. So we're gonna change the gamma and we're gonna change the brightness or like something like that. And that's it. Next thing that we need here in this sphere, or let's say if we can say that this is earth, we're gonna change the color here. So let's go to materials. Let's try to find uh, the perfect color for, for the earth, for the seas. So it can be like this, or we can play a little bit more and we can go something like that and it uh, doesn't look so bad. So next thing is uh, we need some kind of back background here. So this background we're gonna import it. I have uh, import or also the Milky Way background. So we're gonna connect it to render 3D and uh, we're gonna change few things as well. So first thing we're gonna import also the color, color corrector. So we're gonna change uh, color a little bit so you know more bluish we can go with uh, contrast a little bit more we got gonna put the gain down leave down uh, we're gonna go to gamma down and brightness as well so, because we don't want to have so many stars and next thing is we're gonna add another thing so just press uh, shift and uh, spacebar and we're gonna go with directional uh, blur so let's select directional blur and add it uh, beneath the color corrector so next thing is we're gonna change the length so we can go left or we can go right so we just a little bit just to be on the safe side so we can increase glow if we want but uh, I think it's like this is enough and we have to do another thing so you can see here that uh, render 3d is uh, background and uh, the background that it's supposed to be is foreground so we have to change these uh, inputs so let's swap, let's swap inputs and we have got this sphere or earth in front uh, of background so this looks quite good and uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna add some text so we have done 3d object or we can do some other things before that so uh, let's play a little bit with the squeezing the the world or something like this will be okay and uh, next thing is uh, that we're gonna do uh, we gonna basically uh, keyframe the earth so let's put the play hat on and start and uh, let's put this y also to zero keyframe it let's go to the end of the clip so the last uh, keyframe and just uh, put it like 1440 uh, the rotation that we need and let's play it through yeah looks okay so next thing that we need to do uh, is import text so let's press shift and spacebar and add 3d text in so let's connect with the shape 3d so now we're gonna put some text in so we can go with my channel name and next thing is let's change the size so let's see it in 3d space or you can go with this so let's change the size of the letters so let's change also the letters here so we bolt yes that's good and we're gonna go with uh, extrusion as well so we're gonna change the extrusion depth before we go any further so we, we will not go too crazy 
and uh, next thing is uh, let's go to layout and we're gonna see the rotation so now we have to change it so to be able to see and we go with 90 degrees here so basically we can't see uh, our letters now so let's go to transform and we can go with minus 90 here so now it can be seen again and one more thing that we can do is we can change in layout to a circle so now you can't see the the text uh, even not in 3d space so why not because basically it's too small so we're gonna change the width be able to see the the letters so let's see this way still too small so we're gonna go with 1.5 something like that uh, looks nice so next thing let's jump into transform and uh, we're gonna change the position and we can go something like that so you can also change the z axis uh, you can see it on the left hand side screen so we can change it like this so we can also change the uh, x axis as well and you can also play a bit with the with other things so we can play with letters so we're gonna use it later on so let's put this back as it was before so we're only gonna uh, just leave these uh, because uh, I would like to have these letters approximately in the middle. Uh, we can still go to text back. We can still go a bit smaller with text. Uh, I don't like so big letters here, so let's jump back to, to here. And uh, basically we can change it also the if we tilt it right or left so if we tilt it like this you can see that they're gonna go around in different trajectory so uh, let's put it like as it was before and next thing is let's go back to, to text and change the color of the text we're gonna go with yellow so yellow looks nice. Uh, next thing is, uh, so we gonna also uh, change the shading. Uh, we're gonna go with different uh, type of yellow color. So let's open here, let's drop the darker side. So you can see later uh, when we're gonna just play it through. Next thing is let's go to render and uh, what we're gonna do here we're gonna first go to lighting and we're gonna uh, enable lighting so everything is dark now because we didn't uh, import any light till now so let's go press shift and spacebar and we go with spotlight and just press add so here it is, we're gonna connect it to merge node. Now we have basically, uh, we have to decide it here how much light we, we would like to put in. So let's go with Z. So you can see here that we're adding light. Don't go too crazy. So one thing you can see here is uh, very harsh light. So easy to remove this. So let's go to shape 3D and go to materials and go to specular and drop in density as much as you can so basically you can leave it a little bit especially if you tilt the the text uh, it's going to be visible like a small uh, reflection of the sun let's say uh, and one thing more that we need to do let's uh, do the uh, animation for for the text so let's move it like here so we're gonna just wait at the first so let's put the playhead in the beginning so let's keyframe this and 
let's go to the last frame and change it so we can go with minus 720 minus 720 uh, so I reckon that we can go back to edit page so let's stop playing this go to back to edit page and uh, let's wait that computer just uh, render or check this uh, video clip and let's watch it uh, full screen so press ctrl f and let's play through We can still do some more things. So let's go back to text 3D, go to spline. So let's uh, take the 3D and uh, let's play this zoom. Zoom a little bit more out. Just highlight this and go with S. So we're gonna soften this. So let's close spline and we can go back to edit page. We can change or we can wait for uh, computer check this with a clip again and let's watch it in full, full screen again so let's play it through and you can see that this effect looks really dope press escape and uh, if you have any questions regarding this effect, uh, please let me know down in comments. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Did you succeed? Hope you all are. And once again, thank you for watching. And if you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. If you would like to share your thoughts, leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you are keen to upgrade your knowledge or you just need to refresh your memory, don't miss my other tutorials as well. So till next time, take care and have a good one.